Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bagley and today we are back with a brand new episode of Sims and Bloom Legacy Challenge. Alright, so we are back in the Bloom household. Uh, Bailey and Heather are actually still asleep, but Arya is awake and she's eating popcorn. Oh, of course she is. Yeah, I got rid of the popcorn machine, so I don't know where she got it from. Also, the kitchen is kind of a bit of a mess from the party. <laughs> also, I changed Heather's bedroom a little bit. She's still sleeping, but I decorated a lot of it with the new kit that uh, just came out. I think it suits Heather's aesthetic so much and it's so cute, like the rug and the wallpaper. Honestly, the room looks kind of quirky and I think that's like perfect for Heather. Also, I gave her uh, her own little computer now because it's so cute. I mean, I think that's technically an iPad, but you know, it works like a computer. So yeah, this is her new room. I really, really love it. Also, I made a couple of new changes in her DIY room. Okay. Well, I switched up the armchair that <laughs> Cinnamon is destroying right now because uh, that's the new kit one as well. So there's that. And then I also got rid of the little kid activity table and replaced it with some plants. But yeah, Arya's taking a shower and then I think I'm just gonna have her clean up a little bit. Also, it's nine, so I think I'm gonna have Bailey wake up. I think it's about time. <laughs> okay, no, Arya, where are you getting this popcorn from? What? Do you have a whole like storage in your inventory? Stop. Don't don't even need it. It's not worth it. Is it spoiled? No, it's not. It doesn't matter. Just clean it up. Okay, I don't want you eating this. I'm so over it. <laughs> okay, and I actually got the new mod that I've been wanting to get for so long but never got around it. But I got the Granny's Cookbook mod, which adds a ton of custom recipes, which is so cool and they look so amazing. I didn't add all of the existing ones because there's so much of them but i think the ones i added are literally amazing and i think for today i'm gonna make honey bread toast because that literally looks amazing so yeah i'm gonna have aria look how good that looks oh my god i'm gonna have aria make that i'm so excited to try out the new recipes this sink is so gross how does it even get this bad heather can you clean it up or i guess you can do it later because you're hungry you can get some food first look at this okay there's cats screaming everywhere but like look at this grab a serving everyone oh my gosh and he has a little honey bottle that's so cute what the heck okay i love this um i can already see myself using this uh mod all the time and i think the plan for today is to especially work on Bailey's aspiration. Like honestly, we have three pretty chill days ahead of us. There's like pretty much nothing happening in the next three days, except the festival of youth is today, but there's no point of going there because we have no children. So yeah, I mean, honestly, we're doing really good with Bailey. Like we actually have already maxed out all of the three skills now. We uh, maxed out the programming skill in the last episode, finally. So now we have programming, video gaming, and the vet skill all on level 10. And now pretty much we just have to finish this aspiration. So like, I'm probably not gonna finish it in this episode because we need to be friends with 12 cats and or dogs at the same time. Yeah, also I need to feel the love with eight different pets. I guess I haven't with one of my cats yet, which is kind of weird. And I don't know which one it is. Oh man, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out somehow. And I think that's pretty much all we have to do, because I don't think it's... Like, I'm still gonna go to the vet clinic today for, like, one day, I think. But, like, I think it's not necessary for us to get five stars at the clinic. However, I'm just really quickly gonna go and check the rules. And we can go over them, like, really quickly just to refresh everything, because, yeah, I haven't gone through them <laughs> since the start of this generation. All right, so we do have to uh, complete the Aspiration Friends of Animals. We're gonna get a move on with that this episode. Like, actually, I know I've been saying this for past probably like three episodes, but we're actually gonna do, this, <laughs> do it this episode. And then the career is a vet. Now, I don't know, because it's not like a typical career, right? We own a vet clinic. So I don't know if like we have to get a 
five stars or not but like since it's not specified i'm not gonna like stress myself out because of it because it's so hard to get stars up and we are on three and a half right now like i'm definitely gonna try to get more stars like i said i'm not gonna make it like a super huge priority if like i don't manage to do it yeah i think we pretty much just need to finish our aspiration and that's it which is really good because i kind of want to finish it with bailey before she ages up into an elder but like i'm not sure like i think we should be able to also we've even done the optional things that we had to do for this generation or not had to but they were optional so i have completed the feather collection as well and bailey has a techie lifestyle those get those two is like an optional thing that we didn't have to do but we did anyway so that's awesome okay heather is playing video games on her pc i think we're gonna have her oh my gosh yeah okay so one thing that i really want to get a move on with heather is her violin skill right now this is like her child violin and she cannot use it anymore so i'm gonna sell it and i'm gonna get her a new violin okay here it is it literally looks the same as her old one just a bit bigger and i think i really want her to gain like as much of violin skill as possible as teenager because um i'm kind of feeling like it's gonna be really annoying to max this skill out <laughs> especially later on when she has a family okay are there any new lot trades i could add to this place because right now we have fast internet, homey, and training ground. Honestly, we don't need to have a training ground because Bailey didn't have to max out the pet training skill. Which is kind of sad because I feel like she could have. Maybe that would have been better than like programming because she, like, she does love video games. So I think that one made sense. But like programming was a bit out there. So maybe, maybe it would have been like a lot better if she had like pet training but whatever great acoustics okay i think i'm gonna do this one because i really want to get a good move on with her violin skill and i think that's about it also aren't these jeans so pretty on heather it's a bit of a throwback to daisy and i love that oh my gosh lorenzo's texting me congratulations on your recent birthday thank you i gave the i gave lorenzo a makeover by the way he looks a bit nicer now like honestly i love him so much and yeah right now i think i'm rooting for lorenzo because as a part of Heather's gen, like we're gonna go through her rules in the future, but as a part of her generation, she she is supposed to marry her childhood best friend. So I think that's gonna be Lorenzo, which is very nice. Okay, everyone is just working on skills. I mean, except Bailey, she's, <laughs> she's fixing her PC. Hey Bailey, I have a crush on Tia Goth. That is Bailey's half brother, by the way. Uh, yeah, go for it, why not? <laughs> I wanna see which cat I still need to feel the love with i have a feeling that it's cinnamon but i'm not sure okay now okay, it's already getting dark what it's snowing again what the heck but <laughs> why is it snowing it's literally a spring anyways though uh i need to travel with bailey somewhere it's getting dark so it's probably like the perfect spooky vibe right now okay here we are at the brinton bay island where the museum is because there is also a pet cemetery here and i think being here is the best way to get this done play with two different ghost pets so i know that there's like interactive tombstones here so we're gonna see if we can get any of the ghost pets show up i don't know if they show up at night or can we just get them to show up already I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna have her read a few paragraphs. Okay, it's gonna be quite a walk, and you're gonna walk slow, of course you are. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay, she is so sad. From witnessing death of a loved one. Is that still from the pet that died? Okay, which ones can I interact with? Okay, the fog is like getting real though. Okay, is there... Are there gonna be ghost pets showing up or no? I don't know how to get them to appear. Will they just... Oh, that's that's not a ghost pet come on that's literally almost the same as bean i kind of want to adopt it <laughs> i think we would have space for one more cat but <gasps> wait i could adopt it though because because bean and honey are getting old so let's talk to this cat like why not we're here already i think it's a good idea and i think that's another friend yes that's five friends now that's amazing am i hearing something are there ghost pets yet 
Please, I need ghost pets. Yes, adopt. Xena, okay, I wanna rename her though. Okay, we have a lot of food themed names for pets. We have honey, bean, cinnamon, and vanilla. What else? Do I just name this one chocolate? Because <laughs> we have vanilla and chocolate. Or like cocoa. That's nice. It literally says on the Sims Wiki, the cemetery's ghostly residents can be seen walking around the island mostly during night time i'm not seeing any although i don't know if it's like generally around the island or is it just at the cemetery is that a ghost pet it's just a pet oh ruby oh that's so cute i can't adopt you but i can be friends with you let's do that if i can't make ghost pet friends i'm gonna make normal pet friends because i need 12 of those oh you need to pee okay we're gonna find the bathroom are you friends? The thing is that she has this interaction like uh because she's a cat lover and she can do the friendliest introduction and literally just by the introduction uh she's friends and that's it. So basically she just needs to introduce herself to pets which is really good. Also I think this is the only bathroom so <laughs> it's 12 a.m surely they can be ghost pets because it's literally midnight. There is none. There is none. <laughs> yeah I'm not seeing any ghost pets. And it's literally 2 a.m. So it's not gonna be more nighttime as it is now. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> okay, Bailey goes straight to bed. Uh, we didn't get to see ghost pets, which is really annoying because that was my whole plan. But we did introduce ourselves to two more pets and we have a new pet. Also, you two need to sleep. I don't care how hungry you are. Here's our little Coco. Oh my, I mean, he's, uh, his eyes are kind of goofy looking. Oh, definitely goofy looking. I'm gonna have to check him in cast. Also, I think he needs a fat check. Or he's just stinky. I don't know. Oh, just coming to sleep on in the bed next to Bailey. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. What the heck? That's adorable. Aria has work in an hour. Yeah, you just use the toilet real quick. Oh, Heather, you have school and yeah. I forgot to wake you up. I'm sorry. Uh, I could have had you eat and pee, but yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Bailey's probably gonna sleep for a little longer because she was awake for a very long time. But also not too long because today we definitely need to go to the clinic. Also, I think I'm just gonna introduce myself to like all of the pets at the clinic and that way try to get the 12 pets done. It's 10 a.m. already, Bailey, you really need to, we really need to head to the clinic fast. Also, yeah, I'm taking honey with me. I mean, vanilla. Oh my gosh, vanilla. Oh, I can't see you. Oh, you're coming out. Oh, poor little baby. Okay, let's just open it straight away. <gasps> Remember when we talked about Tia Goth? We went on a very nice date. Okay, let's calm this patient. Uh, she's flirty now. Oh, because, yeah, because just call me Cupid from hooking up other sims. I mean, listen, she might not want to be in a relationship, but that doesn't mean that she can't give you a hella good relationship advice. Like, I don't know how that works, but I guess it works. Oh my gosh, this cat. Uh, I'm gonna do a friendlier introduction to this cat. Oh no, this cat is puking. We have to we have to take care of this cat uh, fast because otherwise we're gonna have puke all over the clinic. Okay, good. Wait, we only have Poppy who works here. No, don't tell me that our employee passed away. <laughs> yep. One of our employees died. How oh, great. Stop. We could just full on hire a werewolf. I mean, I feel like as a werewolf, you would know how to be a vet. But I don't know if I want to do that. You know what? Harvey looks kind of nice. Oh, Harvey's already here. So I think he's going to work already, which is really good because we need help because there's a lot of customers here. We've been open for 12 hours, which is a bit crazy. But I really need to close. Okay, I just paid for Poppy's brief training and I'm gonna promote her to level 2. A promotion for me? I Well, of course, it's about time. I mean, I'm thinking Miss Bloom. <laughs> it's not, it, it is about time. You've been working here so long. What? Why is there? <gasps> it's a ghost pet. Play, play. Okay, she's scared, but play. No, play with the pet. Oh, she did. That counted. Wait, is that, is that Ruby? It is. Okay. I mean, it is very late, so um, I see why the ghost pets are coming to life now. Okay, I need to get home. Oh my gosh, it's 2 a.m. already. <laughs> Poor Bailey. Honestly, I've been putting her through so much this episode. 
Okay, please, everybody go to bed. I forgot to treat vanilla. After all of that, I didn't even treat vanilla. And now she's still sick. Are you kidding me? I am literally <laughs> cheating the uh, Arya's and Heather's needs down. Because they're not tired at all. Because I just wasn't on the lot. It's 6am and Heather's awake. I'm gonna go take her little morning shower. And then she can get some breakfast before going to school. She really loves this outfit. It's not even her first outfit, like from the five ones I gave her. But she she wears this one a lot, which I mean, I like it as well. So that's nice. Arya's also awake and she has work in an hour. Oh wait, did you get promotion last time? I think you did. Now I need to get research and debate on level three. We're gonna work on that after you get home today. Oh no, the cats are having a fight. Wait, which ones are having a fight? What? It was Bean and Cinnamon, what the heck? And Cinnamon won. I think we need another food bowl to be completely realistic with you. Bailey, why are you dreaming about kids? You already have a kid. It's not gonna be on the rug, but that's okay. Let's fit it up. Also, I think the schedule time should be on like three hours or something because we have so many cats. Okay, I think I'm just gonna like call over dino and queen cupcake and precious i'm literally gonna call over three cats which is so weird to like call over a cat but i mean it works so why not oh my gosh bean just brought me a gift did you see that that is so adorable are the cats coming out? Yeah, yeah yeah okay here is some of the cats okay i'm friends with precious now so that's done I'm friends with Dino, and where's the other cat? Oh, right here. <laughs> and there we go, friends with another cat, which is really good. We're friends with nine cats now, we only need two more pets. I think I'm gonna head to Florian, because he has two dogs. Let's go to Willow Creek, our old home. Okay, we are here. Um, hello. Wait, is she pregnant again? Oh, <gasps> no way, she's pregnant again. Also, Freddy is still a toddler. How long does he have? He's 7 out of 7. He's gonna age up into a child really soon. And little Iris as well. I don't want to give her a makeover though because she's just gonna age up into a teen pretty soon. Yeah, let's introduce ourselves to their dogs though. I want to be friends with Lola first. Come on. Bailey became friends with Lola. Okay, that's amazing. That was way faster than I thought. Where's the other dog? Oh, look at that. That's so cute. What the heck? That is awesome. Okay, she is friends with... What is his name? Coco. No oh, this, this dog is Coco as well. That's fine. She's friends with Coco as well. Now we just need one more pet. Just one more single pet. And I'm gonna visit the Richie family. Okay, here we are. They have another toddler as well. I don't know if they had a baby. I don't know how they have another toddler because it, it's supposed to be a single dad, but who knows what the neighborhood stories have done. Also, where is... Oh my gosh, look, Lorenzo's here. I'm just gonna introduce myself to Lorenzo as well because I think Bailey should know him. And here is the star of the show, Lemon. Also, let me know what you think about Lorenzo's makeover because I think he looks really cute and I cannot wait to see how everything goes with him and Heather. Oh, that's it. <laughs> She's already friends with Lemon. That's one part done, which is amazing. I am so very happy about that. Nice, now I'm gonna go home. Oh, Florian's here. Oh, hello. Oh, he's happy to see me. That's so cute. You can come inside, invite him in. That's cute. Okay, Bailey's gonna go grab some food. Oh. This is not, this is Queen Cupcake. That's not even our cat, but I am going to take this opportunity to try and feel the love with this cat because we need to do that with eight different pets. <laughs> also, um, yeah, I'm just gonna have Heather uh, practice some more violin. No, Coco is running away. Are you serious? Also, Dino, who is not even my cat, just beat up Honey. What the heck? Bro. Are you serious? And now Frank is calling me because of course he is. Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. That is questionable, but okay. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad that you love him. Why are you not dead? This is becoming a problem, but why don't you come over right now? Sure, why not? <laughs> 
Okay, and I'm gonna try and befriend this cat enough so that I can feel the love, if that is possible. And cinnamon has been sprayed by a skunk. How awesome! A beautiful symphony! Heather is having the time of her life. Should she acknowledge that she likes violin? Yes! Yes, that's really good. Okay, uh, what level are you? You are already level four, which is really good. You can just eat this, maybe. And yeah, also, can you post an alert about missing pet? That would be awesome. Okay, she just became good friends with this cat, so... I'm hoping I'll get the interaction soon. Look how- oh my god, look how good of friends we are with this cat and we're not getting the field of love interaction. I'm gonna send Bailey to bed. I mean, listen, at least we finished one part of the aspiration and I feel like the hardest one as well. Okay, maybe the hardest one is field of love, but like this one is pretty difficult as well because it was like 12 pets, which is kind of a lot. But yeah, so we've done that, which is really good. All right, I've sent Heather to bed as well. And at this point, I am going to end this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think about it. Uh, also, let me know what do you think we should do about the vet clinic situation? Like, do you think we have to get it to five stars? Because I, I think we technically don't have to and I don't really want to because it's so difficult. But I don't want it to seem like I didn't complete the challenge for this uh, generation. So yeah, let me know what you think about that and also, if you have any tips for the vet clinic and how to get higher stars, let me know because it would be really helpful. Also, I'm so happy that we were able to complete a big part of uh, Bailey's aspiration in this episode because I've been putting it off for so long now. Yeah, I think we've done quite a good job today and I'm hoping to complete it in the next one. So I hope you're excited about that. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!